So we already got started and I just realized I never even pressed um, record. So my bad. So I just put my Clinique um, Moisture Surge and my Revitalift under my eyes and on my face. And I went in with the Fenty um, Soft Matte Primer. Right. And I was just telling you guys that I watched the Lighthouse movie and it was very creepy and disturbing and I have no idea what was going on. It was so crazy. But I was saying how like I'm kind of superstitious and I don't really like, I don't know. I'm not like fully believing in ghosts but there's certain things that I do kind of trip out on and I was saying that last night I watched that movie and I just had like kind of some weird crazy dreams after it was really windy and it still kind of is windy which makes me like have to rethink my whole outfit I was planning on wearing today but it was windy this morning so like at three something I woke up to my door slamming shut my bedroom door and my bedroom door was shut like I thought it was already shut I don't know if I shut it all the way but I'm pretty positive my door was shut because my cat was already in my room so I just shut it and I normally do because I have a roommate and his room is across for me and he gets home really late from work and everything so I always make sure my my door is shut and everything because it's just me and my cat and he um he's not here he's actually on vacation with his girlfriend so yeah so I'm just here with my other roommate but my other roommate's room is like down two flights of stairs and he's like in the kitchen area he's not even like near my room like I'm on the very top floor and that's the third level and he's on the first level so it's kind of weird but <laughs> so he can't hear any of that and I woke up to those weird so my door slamming shut so I got up out of bed I was like oh my gosh it's three o'clock it's the witching hour I don't know if you guys any of you guys are like superstitious like whatsoever but I'm pretty superstitious so really creeped me out but my cat wasn't tripping my cat was just snoozing away and I know the animals are really sensitive to like that stuff so I didn't really think twice about it I just went back to bed I've never experienced anything paranormal minus my door slamming shut at the odd hours of the night sometimes if I don't shut it all the way but it's really windy outside so I know that's the reason behind it <laughs> but it was just really creepy and then I went back to sleep and then I just had a really weird dream that someone was like pounding on the front door and I woke up and I swear I heard someone knocking on the front door so I was just like tripping out but again my cat wasn't tripping out so I mean like I'm just I think I was like half asleep dreaming I don't really know what I was dreaming about but at that point in time I don't know if I was imagining it or I really did hear someone knock on the door because we have a bike path by our house and nothing like weirds really happened since I've lived here but sometimes there's like interesting people who can walk up and down the bike path in the middle of the night um but yeah I was a little, a little creeped out um but I woke up but I do not want to wake up I went to bed really late and I normally like to oh sorry guys i didn't even tell you what i was using so i got this sample when i went to ulta and it's a bare minerals bare pro foundation and this is in the color golden ivory so it's just like this little cute little glass bottle and then i'm gonna put some morphe setting powder and i used my l'oreal infallible which i think i've used before a couple of my other videos so 
Oh shoot. A whole bunch of powder came up. Um, but yeah, that was just a really creepy, creepy dream. <laughs> creepy sleep that I got. And I don't know if it's because I watched that movie and it just kind of like set me up for having weird dreams. I don't know. It was just such a weird and odd movie that I'm still tripping out about it. I'm actually going to text my friend and be like, did you have weird dreams? Because I freaking, it was just, I don't know. It was just odd. Like I thought people were knocking on my door. I thought someone was in the house. I don't know if it's because I cooked chicken. I like meal prepped. Cause I eat dinner. I like met up with my friend and I eat dinner with her. And so I didn't. Um, and that was early, so we had a very early dinner. And I'm just gonna trim my brows really quick because like a few hairs are just standing straight up. Um, but, so I didn't eat, like, I ate really early, I ate, like, at, I want to say, like, four-ish, and so I ended up eating really early for dinner, and, um, so yeah, I had a piece of chicken, sorry guys, I'm, like, so into what I'm eating for right now. So I had a piece of chicken and I didn't have a huge piece, just like a couple pieces. So I don't know if it's like because I ate late and that's why I had weird dreams. But let me know if you guys experienced anything weird. So I'm supposed to hang out with my one of my friends tonight. We are going to go watch. No, that's tomorrow. We're going to, I'm going to hang out with another one of my friends that I haven't seen in a while. And we are going to go to Barnes and Noble. We used to do that like all the time and watch. Oh my God, you guys, my brows are just horrible. I'm just gonna exit this out from doing my brows because <laughs> I just kind of need to like get real, real quiet, real serious and it's all good. All right, so I just did my eyebrows and now I'm gonna move in with my um, contour. So I'm gonna do everything a little bit backwards. I always do my eyes last just cause, I don't know, it gives me time to think on like what I'm looking for. If I wanna do something more natural, if I'm leaning towards more of a like, um, I don't know, colorful look, simple look, but I'm just gonna use the three steps to sculpt by NYX, which I don't know if I talked about it with you in a video. I think I did my little vlog. Um, I think I included it. I can't remember if I showed you what I got or not, but let me go ahead and just contour really quick. So, I can't believe that 2019 is almost over. Like, I am really, really tripping out by it. Like, I could just, just, I remember it being 2017. And now we're like already in 2019. And it's going to be 2020. And it's just so crazy. Because I remember my mom would always say, wait till you get older because time seriously flies like once you're past 25 I'm like no it doesn't like I felt like it took forever and now I'm just tripping out like my son is 10 years old he will be 11 in March and I just remember him being this little tiny little guy and now he's like this big old monster well he's not a monster but he's big now and it's just trips me out like how fast time does go by and it's like wow I just remember being you know really really young and now I am in my 30s 
and it's just absolutely insane to me like whoa okay so that's done I'm gonna just go in with my um blush and Bali palette BH palette lighting is probably horrible so you can't really see but that and it just has a three highlights and three blushes and I think you're gonna go in with this color right here the middle color and that's in coral so it's coral lache and pomegranate which is the darker color pomegranate's really pretty but I don't know if I can pull it off and I haven't really messed with it I want to try wearing it on a day that I am not, um, you know, messing around with. I want it to be on a day when I'm just, like, messing around with makeup. So, I might film, like, I'm getting a new palette in the mail, so maybe I will film, like, a, like, a quick get ready with me when I get my makeup, and I can just kind of, like, try out these colors, these colors I haven't used yet. Um, sun kiss. So I'm just putting sun kiss as a little bit of a highlighter. I don't like to put too much highlight just because I have a lot of texture on my face. So I try to keep away. I try to keep away from putting so much highlight on my face. Uh, so now I'm just gonna spray my face with the Sephora um, Beauty Amplifier Setting Spray. And I'm actually gonna do like a very neutral look. I'm gonna go back in with the sculpting palette and I'm gonna go in with this sculpting um, contour color because I already put the setting powder all over my eyelids and I'm just going to contour, not contour, but apply it to my crease and kind of just blend it out first. I wanna do more of a neutral look today and not try and do get all crazy this morning. I am going to apply some lashes and yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to just quickly do. Sorry I'm not like super talkative. It's very early in the morning. It's 540. 540. 40 ish let me see you can be precise it's 5 45 <laughs> so i'm just gonna put that there and then i'm gonna just go in with uh, this color right here and i'm gonna apply that on my lid just apply it all over my lid and then i'll go back in and add a little bit of this like so just to kind of add a little bit of color and then I'm gonna just uh, clean everything up make sure it looks okay like so and then I'm just gonna go back in with that sculpting color there and there or not sculpting but the this color this highlight whatever it is I don't even know Okay, and then I'm just gonna add some new liner. All right, so I did my eyeliner. I did not like the way it looks. I'm not a fan of the Maybelline Master Precise line. So I went with like this little brush, not a fan of it. It just took forever to get on my face and then it took forever to um, like to fix it. Like it does not wanna go the way I want it to. So I'm not really feeling the way my liner looks today. I actually feel like one side is a bit longer than the other. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take it off a little bit and then see how that looks. Hi, Bonnie. 
What? You guys hear my baby? <laughs> She's such a little turkey. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this wing off too. And just apply a little bit more to that. See, it just like so easily wipes off, which is nice, especially when you screw up on your, your brows. But, I mean, your brows on your wing but then it shows you how easy it is to rub off throughout the day so i don't know i'm just gonna go ahead and go with that look now i'm gonna go in with my telescopic mascara lord by l'oreal um i watch does anyone else watch bratman rock he has his mascara of the the day series and he had brought this one up and his lashes look so bomb but to be fair i think he has a lash lift so all of his lashes like excuse me i feel like all of his lashes look amazing or not lashes but every time he puts mascara on his lashes look amazing so i'm kind of like um you have a lash lift so everything's gonna make your lashes look good but I still watch it anyways because he's so funny. Hi, Luna. What? My cat is such like a goober. She just wants all kinds of attention in the morning and at night. And whenever I'm getting ready, it's like mandatory for her to have a ton of attention. So that lash is done. I am going to be applying false lashes, so that's why I'm not curling my lashes right now. So. But, yeah. Is anyone else's allergies acting up like? crazy here in California because of the fires going on like my allergies have been horrible the past two months but they've definitely increased with the fires it's like insane I feel like I could never breathe I feel like I sound like I'm heavy breathing all the time which is not cute like yesterday I went to go watch a movie and which I've mentioned like 5,000 times already. But when I went to go watch the movie, I literally felt like I was just heavy breathing the whole time. So I'm like, oh, this is really cute. So I'm just currently using the um, Kiss Blowout Lash, and it came with five pairs, and this is the Next Gen Wispy. So this is what they look like. Um, yeah, and I'm just applying on the pair that I wore yesterday. Just hopefully they stay on better today than they did yesterday. It's kind of annoying because I had to apply lash glue like several times because it just did not want to work for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this glue and then I'll put them on. And then I'm going to do my hair. I'm sorry if this video is really boring. I just thought it would be, I'm like half asleep still. So <laughs> this is probably one of the worst times to film, but I thought it would just be nice to do a quick little like get ready with me and like how I get ready in the morning for work. Just because I know so many other people wake up so early in the morning to get ready. And I thought it would be really good, um, I don't know, experience just to try it out and see how things go. Um, so why not? And I've always wanted to do a get ready with me where I'm actually talking and not just playing music over, which again, you guys, I'm still learning how to edit. I don't have a computer where I can edit my videos because I don't have a MacBook and I use the iMovies to edit 
and I'm still learning, like, so I apologize if my video is kind of, the editing style kind of sucks right now, and the music and all that stuff, I'm still kind of figuring things out as I go, which I'm sure many people do when they are filming and starting a YouTube channel. Like, some people are just very tech savvy. I just know the basics, so I am getting there with my editing and everything. So hopefully I can get a MacBook soon. That is the absolute plan. I'm sorry, I'm just like holding this so close to my face that you probably can even see what I'm doing. And this was the same lash I was having trouble with yesterday, like right here where oops, it goes to like my inner eye, it just did not want to work for me. I don't know what's up with it. I'm just let that glue kind of get tacky. And I'm actually gonna start on my hair really quick, so I'm gonna move my hair back a little bit. And Okay, I'm so sorry guys, this is the absolute worst lighting <laughs> ever, but this is what I ended up doing. Just a winged liner, natural shadow, and um, lashes, and I just have my highlight and everything, and I'm just going to clip my bangs back because they are not working today. And I thought I would just show you really quick what I'm wearing. I am wearing a long sweater, and just this dress I got from Target. It's a little big, so I just put a black tank under, and I'm also wearing some um, nylons, black nylons, and some black boots. So this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry if the lighting is horrible. It's very early in the morning. It's pitch black outside, and I have to hurry up and go to work because I'm running late as per usual. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy it. Bye.